Hey loves, today's video is a dream bag unboxing. The Chanel 19 has been on my wish list since it debuted in 2019, and perhaps it's on yours and that is why you're here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you first impressions, some quick mod shots, and some things that you really need to know about the Chanel 19. Specifically, one thing maybe you haven't been told. So without further ado, let's get to it. This is my first Chanel bag, and I will tell you, in terms of presentation, Chanel literally nails it. I love the fact that one, it is very simplistic and clean with black and white put together. I just think that that is just so stunning and elegant. And then obviously we have the signature flower on the top. And now let's get into the fun stuff. is not only the most beautiful packaging that I have ever had before, but it's certainly the most intense. Chanel takes their time and puts a lot of effort into packaging their bags as they should for that price point. But here is the documentation that was in the bottom of the box. But we have the dust bag here, obviously that is beautiful in black and white as well. And if you have any guesses on what color you think that I got in the Chanel 19, let me know down in the comments below before we pull this out of here and have the big reveal. But here we go. Ta-da! We have the Chanel 19 in black. And I know some of you, if you are a current subscriber, you are probably not surprised at all. But I will tell you, I did consider the light beige color, and I'm gonna insert a picture for you guys. That was the color that was back uh, available this past spring, and I did love that. I just got a little bit worried about, you know, being my first Chanel bag, you know, do I really want something that's light and potentially worrying about something getting on it or color transfer, even though I'm very careful with my bags. I just thought, you know what, for the first Chanel bag, go black. You just cannot go wrong because it's stunning, it's elegant, and I would suggest the same. But I will say, there's something in particular about this bag, the Chanel 19, that I mentioned, I think at the start of this video, that you're really gonna need to know, so stay with me for that because I think it's really important, especially if you do not have a Chanel 19 yet. But I love, first and foremost, that you have this kind of felt material that is covering the bag, which I think really kept it all nice and neat in the packaging and kept anything from scuffing it. I'm not gonna make the mistake. I am going to fully open this. I have done that before where I did not fully open a bag during an unboxing. That was a big mistake. I made that with my college bag by YSL. If you haven't seen that video or the couple videos I made, I'll make sure to link those. But Always make sure that you unbox everything and check everything out fully. Don't make the same mistake I did. But just to kind of give you a little backstory on this as I'm opening up everything, I have had this bag on my list, like I mentioned, since 2019. I personally, myself, watched so many different unboxings because I just fell in love with this bag. But I just kept waiting because it's a lot to really, you know, bite the bullet and make this type of an investment on a luxury handbag. Now, I wish I could go back in time, obviously, and purchase this bag back in 2019 when it first came out. The price has jumped tremendously since that time. But here we are today, alas, with the Chanel 19. It was just the right time and it just is what it is with it. Um, when you know, you know, when you love it, you're loving it and you're going to get it, you know, regardless, you're just gonna make that decision. But that's why we don't take these decisions or make these decisions lightly. We wanna make sure we are purchasing the right bag. So that is why I'm here sharing this video with you guys today. I'm definitely gonna be giving you guys more videos on this in the future, some full reviews after I've had time to carry the bag and I'm gonna do some styling videos, what's in there, what fits in there, even some um, videos kind of what you should probably do from a preventative standpoint on the inside of these bags. I've already ordered some items for that, so I'm gonna be sharing that for sure in, in uh, future videos as well. But like I mentioned, you know, this is a bag that's been on my list for a while. Started out potentially wanting um, the lighter one back in the spring, but made the decision that I wanted to start with black. 
And this is made of lambskin and it is super soft. It feels like a pillow. It's very, very buttery soft on the ends or on the outside, but it's also kind of coated and shiny and it's smooth. So even though it's lambskin, it's not one that I'm gonna be super worried about or very fearful of with carrying. Ladies, if you're going to buy a bag, you're gonna need to carry it. Don't just sit it on a shelf and let it sit there. This is a beautiful one simply because of the fact that you have so much versatility in this bag, which I'm sure I'm gonna be talking a lot about in the future, but you've got the ability to carry it by the handle as well as the long strap that you can use as a crossbody. And I'm gonna move this camera back for just a moment so I can actually show you guys some quick mod shots of how to style and carry this bag. So bear with me just one second. So you can certainly carry this by the top handle, which I love carrying it by the hand, or you can actually put it onto the crook of your arm like this right here. Or with this long strap, you're able to carry this on your shoulder like this. Or if you love crossbodies like I do, and that is part of the reason why I purchased this bag, was to be able to carry this by um, utilizing it as a crossbody because I love crossbodies. I just think that that fits my style and my lifestyle more. So for reference, I'm 5'4", so you can see where this bag is hitting me. And to be honest, my hip bone is almost like in the middle of this bag or where the back pocket is. So that's kind of where it's gonna fall depending upon um, your height. Obviously, if you're around my height, that's where it's gonna hit, but kind of just keep that in mind depending upon your size and where you think that might hit for you. I will tell you what I love first and foremost too about this bag is the mixed metal hardware. I think that that allows this bag to really be very versatile and dressing it up and dressing it down and then wearing it with different kinds of jewelry, whether it's, you know, diamonds or gold or silver, it just doesn't matter. It's going to go with so many different things. The turn lock on the front I think is absolutely stunning. It's kind of like a champagne gold, if you will. And so that's kind of similar to what is on the top of the handle there as well. You've got the back pocket, which to be honest, when I first you know saw this bag, I didn't think that I would care that much about it. But as I've started utilizing some of my other bags lately, back pockets are kind of a must if you want a grab and go with your phone. So this is gonna have that snap closure that you can slide your phone in right there and then quickly snap it shut. And then moving to the inside of the bag, and obviously we've got the little plastic coating on there right now as well. But moving to the inside, you can see the same buttery soft lambskin leather there, which I love. And then you will have the fabric lining, which is like the uh, traditional red lining for a Chanel bag. So you can see that there. And then the Chanel bar on the inside. So instead of the authenticity cards that I believe Chanel used to provide, there's now the bar on the inside there that has a number at the bottom of that. Now that I've taken the stuffing out of the bag, you can see that it is rather slouchy. That is both good and bad when it comes to this bag. So like I mentioned, I have ordered some things specifically for the interior of this bag. So make sure to turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss those updates. And by the way, my name is Heather and I share insight and inspiration for all things Lux, especially when it comes to handbags and shoes. So if you two have a love for Lux, I hope you will consider subscribing. I'm obsessed with this bag overall. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I had this bag, like I mentioned, on my list for many, many years. And it was one that I wasn't sure if I was going to purchase this year or not. It was on my wish list, but there were some other things I was considering. But the stars aligned because I went into my local Chanel boutique store and they had a fresh one. As you could see with the unboxing, all of the original packaging was there. And that just doesn't happen all the time with Chanel. It's very similar, not exactly to the same caliber, caliber but it is very similar to Hermes. You don't know what you're gonna get sometimes when you go in the boutique. They're limited in the number of bags or the types of items that they get. So when I went in and they had one that was fresh, I just knew it was meant to be. One thing in particular you are going to want to keep in mind with the Chanel 19 that nobody may have told you, you may have never heard before, is that once you get a Chanel 19, you are going to be hooked in my opinion. If you don't own Chanel, this is what is going to open the door for a whole new world because I can already tell you in comparison to any of my other handbags, 
None of them really hold a candle thus far to the Chanel 19 from the presentation, just from the overall quality of this bag. I know some people have talked about Chanel quality issues, but I can tell you just from first glance, looking at the stitching, the quality of the leather, the metal, she's absolutely perfect and I could not recommend her more. I'm gonna be doing some more videos coming forward in terms of the review after I've had a chance to carry her and really utilize her and what fits inside, how to style her, but you're not going to look back once you purchase a Chanel bag, especially the Chanel 19. I think this is one that if you're looking for something to be the first bag by Chanel, like myself, I think this is a great one because you can really get a lot of versatility out of the handle as well as the strap. And it's really gonna go with so many different things in your wardrobe. And if you like black and neutrals like I do, this bag would be fantastic for your wardrobe. Well, until next time, live your lux, and I'll see you in the next video.